Good morning, everyone. Today I want to talk to you about mistaken identity. I recently heard the story about a, a CNN uh, cameraman who was approved for this story. So he called the airport and he was told that there was a small uh, plane uh, there ready for him. And so he quickly ran down to the airport and uh, he saw a, a plane in a hangar and he assumed that was his. So he ran over to the plane, he jumped in and he told the pilot, he said, let's go. And so the pilot just took off and and as they started flying, he said, hey, uh, over these valleys and these hills, I want you to fly really low so I can get good footage, uh, some good shots of the fires and the smoke. And, and um, the, the pilot was like, why do you want to do that? And he says, well, I'm a cameraman for CNN News. And so there was a strange silence for just for a moment. And the pilot says, so you're not my flight instructor? And so you can see how mistaken identity can sometimes put us in some precarious situations. And this morning I want to talk to you about how uh, Judas and, and the scribes and Pharisees and some of those folks um, really didn't understand who Jesus was. And it happened in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus had been praying and they came to arrest him. And John 18, 4 through 6, it says that Jesus, therefore knowing all things that would come upon him, went forward to them and said, Whom are you seeking? And they answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Then Jesus said, I am. And Judas, who betrayed him, stood with him. And now when he said to them, I am, they drew back and fell to the ground. And so I want you to see here how they had mistaken Jesus for somebody maybe that he's not, for someone who, who's less than he was. And when Jesus uh, uh, told them, when he said the words, I am, it's the same name that, that God gave to Moses at the burning bush when Moses asked him um, who he should say sent him to Egypt. I am, I am that I am. And, and so that's what Jesus said. And in verse six, this is what really struck me uh, as I was thinking about what to share with you guys today. It says that all the people that were around him, when he said, I am, they fell backwards to the ground. And there was a, a power and a presence of God there when he said that word, those words, when he identified who he was, Jesus was saying to them, I am almighty God. And in a way he was saying, uh, you don't have any power over me except for what I give you. But I, I don't want you to mistake who Jesus is today. I think it's important that we understand who he is. A lot of times we see him just as a lowly babe, a meek man, or a suffering servant. But he is the Lord God Almighty, the creator and sustainer of this universe. And one day the Bible says that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And now's the time for you to do that. Recognize today. Don't mistake Jesus for something less than he is. He is God in the flesh. He is our Savior. And he's the only way for us to miss hell and spend eternity with him in heaven. And so don't mistake Jesus for less. Come to him today and surrender to him as Lord.